Welcome to yet another video of Jacob Rogins. Today's video is all about how to get a pharmacist job in UK. So if you have completed a pharmacy degree in India or you are, uh, you, or you are currently working as a pharmacist in any of the Gulf countries and you would like to work as a pharmacist in UK, in this video uh, I will discuss about the different steps you have to undergo to become a pharmacist in UK. Generally, Indian pharmacist degrees are not directly accepted by the UK. So you have to undergo a conversion examination called OSPOP. Then what is the full form of OSPOP? OSPOP is Overseas Pharmacist Assessment Program. So you have to undergo this one year program to get a licensed pharmacist in UK. After completing B, B farm, M farm or farm D or if you, if you have a PhD in pharmacy, you have to apply for OSPAP. When you are applying for OSPAP program, you have to include all the details of the course you have done. It includes your mark list and your transcripts, etc. And also your English qualifying uh, test results. For language proficiency test, both IELTS and OET are acceptable. Uh, even if you are taking IELTS, you have to score at least 7 for each. That means 7 for writing, 7 for listening, 7 for reading and 7 for spe speaking in a single in a single seat. Se seat. That means uh, you have to, uh, for, for a single exam, you have to score 7 for each. Uh, the, the case of OET is also the same. You have to score at least B for each that you have to score B for writing, speaking, reading and listening in a single sitting. If all the documents are ready, now you can apply for MSc OSPAP assessment. You have to pay a fees of 680, uh, £687 pound, uh, for this MSc OSPAP assessment. It takes at least 8 weeks to get an updation from them. Uh, once you failed, this fees will not be refundable. You, uh, you can apply for once more and you have to pay the fee again for the assessment. During the time of this assessment, sometimes they send you a mail that your uh, pharmacy uh, qualifications are not acceptable and you need to send the syllabus you have studied during the time of your pharmacy course. Such cases, you have to send the whole syllabus to them to uh, assess once more. Once you, have, uh, once you have successfully completed the MSc OSPAP uh, assessment, now you can join any of the universities in UK for the MSc OSPAP program. Its fees is from 13 lakhs to 20 lakhs per annum. The universities offering this course are Aston University, the University of Brighton and University of Sunderland. After completing this course, you will get a two year stay back. After the successful completion of your MSc OSPAP uh, assessment program, uh, you have to work as a foundation pharmacist in any of the pharmacies in UK. That time, your visa has been changed to Tire to Work Permit Visa. And at uh, this foundation pharmacist job, uh, or you have to work as a foundation pharmacist uh, for at least 39 weeks to 52 weeks in any of the pharmacies. During that time, you will get a salary of £22,000 per annum. After this, you can apply for General Pharmaceutical Council or GPHSC assessment. While you are working as a foundation pharmacist, you will get the training for uh, sitting the GPHSC assessment program and uh, they will conduct, uh, they will means uh, the tutor assigned in the pharmacy, they will conduct many mock tests and you will get enough training to pass the GPSE assessment. GPSE offers three chances for the pharmacist to pass the examination and uh, you have to score at least 70% to clear the examination. Once you successfully complete the exam conducted by, conducted by the GPSE, you will get the pharmacist number, the pharmacist pin. Now onwards, you can work as a full pharmacist in uh, in any part of UK. That means you can work in any of the community center, any of the NHS hospitals, or uh, any of the pharmacist 
shops etc and once you completed 4 years then you can apply for permanent residency in uk how much salary will you get in uk uh, if you are working as a registered pharmacist uh, in any of the community centers uh, you will get a salary of at least 39000 pound per annum and if you are working in any of the nhs hospitals your salary range starts from 32000 pound per annum and uh, you will get an increase every year one more thing if you are coming to uk with a dependent visa and uh, then you need not do the msc the one year msc ospa program uh, in such cases you need to do a 9 month diploma ospa program and this is all about today's video and i hope you all like my video and if you are not a subscriber of my channel please do subscribe my channel like share and comment my videos with your friends thank you very much for watching jacob jojins bye bye